So the Prime Minister is going to address the nation at 8 p.m. and that very statement makes many people become a little bit nervous. Although hopefully there's relatively less to worry about today. The Prime Minister in all probability is going to thank the country for all the discipline it has shown, thank all the Corona warriors for the effort they've done and perhaps leave a lot of the decisions on what is going to happen now to the states. Leave it to some extent to the states to decide the extent to which they want to open up after May the 17th while having some rules that will be in place for the entire country. And perhaps the Prime Minister will also say something about the plight of the migrants that we have seen for more than 40 or 50 days now and we hope say something about that economic package. Either announce it himself or say that it will be coming from the government. But that's at least our hopes, our expectations, what the PM is actually going to say will only be known at 8 p.m. A day after meeting chief ministers over lockdown strategy, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the nation at 8 p.m. today. The Prime Minister is likely to give details of the government's graded lockdown exit strategy. India is currently under the third phase of lockdown and the government is likely to give further relaxations in the curbs in orange and green zones, while the red zones are likely to stay under strict restrictions. The Prime Minister may also share his thoughts on the government's plan to revive the economy that's taken a severe beating during the COVID lockdown. The nationwide lockdown due to coronavirus outbreak is likely to be extended for a fourth time with strict restrictions only in the areas designated as red zones. NDTV reported quoting government sources, restrictions like a night curfew and curbs in public transport may continue in red zones. Prime Minister Modi, who held a video meet with the chief ministers on Monday, has asked states to send in suggestions for changes to the current rules by May 15. A number of states have reportedly asked for the lockdown to be extended but limited to areas worst hit by the crisis. Delhi Chief Minister has asked for suggestions from the citizens of the capital on what they would like the government to do after May 17th. The third phase of the nationwide lockdown will end on May 17th. The CM said that people can give their suggestions on toll-free number 1031 or they can WhatsApp on double eight double zero double zero double seven double two. People can also write into the CM at delhicm.suggestions at gmail.com. Kejriwal on Monday had asked the PM to allow economic activity in Delhi outside the red zones. The Congress has again questioned the PM Cares Fund and demanded an independent audit from CAG. The party questioned why the fund is not being spent on the COVID-19 patients. Congress senior spokesperson Abhishek Manu Singhvi said calling for an audit of public fund was a genuine demand. According to government, the Prime Minister's Citizen Assistance and Relief in Emergency Situation Fund or PM Cares Fund was set up keeping in mind the need for having a dedicated national fund with the primary objective of dealing with any kind of emergency or distress situation like posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and to provide relief to the affected, a public charitable trust. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has ordered the transfer of State Health Secretary Vivek Kumar amid a continuing face-off between the West Bengal government and the centre over the coronavirus pandemic. Kumar will now take charge as Principal Secretary of the state's Environment Department. The centre has repeatedly claimed that the West Bengal government is not enforcing the lockdown stringently and that it is fudging the data on number of COVID-19 fatalities in the state. A central team sent to the state has accused it of low testing rate and discrepancies in reporting cases. Mamta Banerjee, on the other hand, has accused the centre of interfering in the state and playing politics. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman is expected to announce an economic stimulus package worth 3 lakh crore rupees later this week, Business Standard reported on Tuesday. The central government recently announced its plans to borrow 4.2 lakh crore rupees, more than budgeted estimates of 7.8 lakh crore rupees. According to the report, the next set of announcements would be massive compared to 1.7 lakh crore rupee package announced earlier by the Finance Minister. Nobel laureate and economist Abhijit Banerjee has said that there is no certainty that India will gain in case big corporates shift their businesses from China in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Banerjee asked what happens if China depreciates its currency. He told Bengali news channel ABP Anando on Monday that in that case, Chinese products will be cheaper 
and people will continue to buy their products. While Prime Minister Modi recently held a meeting to facilitate investments into India, the Karnataka government on Monday formed a special task force to lure firms who are operating in China. But so far, no company has announced to leave China. Tamil Nadu saw its highest single day spike with almost 800 new coronavirus cases on Monday. The southern state has now overtaken Delhi as the state with the third biggest caseload. Tamil Nadu now has 8,002 confirmed cases while Delhi had 7,233. Only Maharashtra and Gujarat now have more confirmed cases than Tamil Nadu. The state has seen its numbers rise rapidly in the last few days, especially after the discovery of the Coimbedu market cluster in Chennai, which has so far contributed more than 2,000 cases. New York City, which is the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic in the US, is likely to stay closed until June, Mayor Bill de Blasio said. This even as three regions of New York State are set to reopen on May 15th. New York has been recording a decline in daily hospitalizations, ICU admissions and fatalities, but the mayor said such progress must continue further before officials consider reopening the city.